I've had a few people ask about the camera and ice cream sandwich running on the uh, Motorola Zoom. So I'm just going to do a once quick over. Um, the browser pretty much looks the same. I mean, there, there's really no visual differences on this main screen. Um, you still have your, your bookmark here and then view bookmarks here. Um, the menu, however, is just the three dots. So um, you can tap that and then you get into um, a few settings. Here you have um, obviously like your refresh, things like that. Um, you can create a new tab here or here, just like you know before. Um, it has the incognito tab that can be opened up. Um, you can share the page, um, find on the page, um, request desktop site, you can turn that on or off to view mobile or desktop site. Um, you can save the site, the page for offline viewing. Um, there's a page info, which I haven't really found a great reason for that. It just shows the, you know, the title and the actual URL. Um, but then there are settings that are different. You've got a whole other um, set of things here. You basically have your general, which is for setting the home page, form autofill, um, and autofill text for the forms. Um, there is privacy and security which makes it easy to clear the cache, clear the history, tell it to show or not to show security warnings, um, to accept cookies or not to, to clear them, um, et cetera, et cetera, you know, form data, location, remembering passwords, things like that. Um, now the accessibility, um, pretty much how it renders, uh, font size, zoom, scaling, things like that. Um, there is an advanced tab which allows you to set your search engine, um, tell it to open new tabs in the background as opposed to moving over to that new tab, JavaScript, um, and then your other page content items. Um, a cool one is the bandwidth management. If you have a very slow connection, um, you have this to where you can tell it not to load images so that when you're, you're on the internet and you just need to find information and don't want to take the time to load images, your internet can be substantially faster. Um, and then labs, which is probably the coolest thing here. Um, there's something called quick controls. And what this does is it changes the way that you interact with the browser. Um, <clears throat> by default, it's off. But if we turn this on, then what will happen is when I go back to the browser, there is no address bar, as you can see up top, and no matter how, how you pull down, there's no address bar. But what this does allow is for you to swipe. Now this works from either side, so you can actually swipe from the side, and you have all of your different things. You've got the forward, back, refresh. Um, you have basically um, the globe allows you to put in a URL. Um, go to the settings, all the settings I showed you before that were up in the corner. Um, I'm not really sure, I think that just shows tabs. Um, bookmarks, add a bookmark, or close it out. Um, so, you know, you, you no longer have, whoop, you no longer have the options up in the corner or anywhere else. It, it turns your browsing into actual full, full page browsing. Um, now to turn that back off, you just have to come back to your settings. go back to labs and just turn quick controls back off. So that is the browser um, and ice cream sandwich. So hope that answered everybody's questions.